Have this ever happened to you? Well, keep watching and you'll find out how to avoid this. Today, I want to show you guys some binds that will save you from the embarrassment that I had to face. And some other great but very niche binds. I already made a top 5 binds video, so watch that if you want to know how to set up an auto exec and some other binds. Style 6 Crosser Did you know it exists a secret crosser in CSGO? These are the 5 ones the game allows you to pick. But there is a 6th option. By adding these commands to your auto exec, you will get a crosser that works like the Style 5 but the gap won't get too big, which is a problem on the Style 5 crosser. Okay. And why is CSGO trying to hide this? Maybe it's overpowered? Well, who knows? Here you saw me lose a 1v3 with 1 HP, because I hit mouse 2 and I started taking off the silencer and I lost it. Well, if you add these commands to your auto exec, it makes it impossible for you to take off the silencer when you're shooting the gun. This doesn't really work for the USB, and if you change it a little bit around, you can make sure you can't jump when you're shooting your gun. You can't have both on, so you have to pick which one you want to use. Utility crosser. Have you ever had to throw a smoke? Where you had to line up your crosser in the middle of something and it kinda makes sense, but you don't really know how? Well, don't worry, these crosser will help you with that perfectly. If you add these commands to your auto exec, it lets you change different crosser size when you're using M-Force, Pistol and Nades. It's perfect to use. Forrest pointed out on Twitter today that the net graph was annoying, but a lot of people like me kinda need the net graph. Well, don't you worry. By adding these binds to your net graph, you will only see it when you tab to check the scoreboard. And you're already watching a lot of things on the screen, it won't really be annoying then. That was all the binds I had. Thanks for watching.